long ball to get them back into this one. Rounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. All set to start the ninth in this one. And next it'll be the fleet-footed first baseman, Eric Jr. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hit in the air out to right. Right fielder giving chase. But he's not going to get there and he's headed for extra bases again. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. That was a pretty good fastball, and it almost got by him. But he's able to slap it in the gap in the right center field. Because of the velocity off the bat, the outfielders couldn't cut it off in time and allowed him to cruise into second really easy. Next will be the designated hitter, Anthony Rizzo. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 1-2. And gone. the runner's breaking for third. Softly hit out towards short. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Yeah, Matt, hard yeah, to stay go. focused nice on the game when the score is this far out of hand, especially when you're on the losing side of it. Even as broadcasters, it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win, and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like that. 11-3, the final score in this contest. The Angels 